Well, let me tell you, Snacker Stars, I went to Pizza Hut for one reason and one reason only, and they didn't have that reason. So I had to come up with another reason altogether. So I did. I pulled it end around, and I got something new for you tonight on Pizza Night. What are you going to do when Pizza Night Mania runs wild on you? Daylight savings time has hit the Washington DC, Northern Virginia area, and as such, it's a bit lighter than it would normally be this time of night for pizza night. I have returned to the Barcroft Shopping Center to go to Pizza Hut to check out something that's not quite brand new, but maybe it's an alteration of an old favorite. We'll find out about that and more on tonight's Pizza Hut, coming to you live from Columbia Pike. Never fear, Pizza Night's here. Go ahead and grab a can of beer. It's Friday night, Friday the 13th. Ooh, very scary, 2015. And we have our least wanted bad cat. Why? Well, he pulled a back muscle while trying to think outside the box and he's retained an attorney. I've pulled a back muscle that way before. Don't feel bad, little fella. All right, so you see the ridiculously expensive Brandon Sack 5000, and what's inside here is not what I had originally planned on. Yes, I had planned on going to Pizza Hut, but uh, at the request of one of my uh, very loyal viewers, Kelly, I was going to check out their gluten-free pizza. But guess what? It's not available in my area. It's not available anywhere in Northern Virginia. You need to get to work on that, guys. So anyway, since I was at Pizza Hut, I decided to go ahead and try out something else that they have there. Let's go ahead and rip that open and pull it out. Boom. I noticed the other day while watching TV that they had a new promotion for quote unquote 10 new flavors of stuffed crust pizza. And they are pulling the stuffed crust pizza at its original price of $9.99. And you can basically add any flavor you want to the outside crust. So that's what I did. Now you'll know back when they first brought out the flavor of now menu uh, back in I think November or December, I tried their pretzel crust and I noted that they wouldn't let me put it on the stuffed crust. But now you can along with the toasted cheddar, the Asiago, the fiery red pepper, uh, there's a few others that I'm forgetting right now, but anyway, uh, what I decided to do is to get that salted pretzel crust on the stuffed crust pizza for the first time. I'm very intrigued by that. And then I decided to go a little bit outside the box like our cat friend over there and try totally different set of toppings. Well, not totally different, but different from what I normally get. You'll notice that there's no pepperoni on this pizza, right? And there is absolutely no red sauce, no tomato sauce, no marinara sauce, no barbecue sauce, none of that. So what I did get is the garlic parmesan sauce and I got meatballs, which I've tried before and I absolutely love, and ground beef. So you're gonna say meatballs and ground beef? Well, yes. I decided this is gonna be the meatiest, cheesiest pretzel stuffed crust pizza out there. $9.99, uh, but I did add a topping so that was $1.50 extra, made it $11.49 plus tax, bringing my grand total tonight to $12.64. All right, guys, uh, it looks like they put that garlic parmesan sauce on the upper part of the uh, pizza on top of the cheese rather than the other way around. That's kind of an interesting strategy, and we'll see how that turns out. Let me pick up this 420 slice. <clears throat> And it's just your regular floppy pizza cheese, or rather crust from Pizza Hut. Very sloppy looking, got stuff about to drop off there. Uh, the uh, garlic parmesan sauce looks like it's mixing with the uh, mozzarella cheese to create quite a gloppy mess. Lots of little brown pieces of meat everywhere, both in the forms of meatballs and ground pizza uh, type topping. And all right, looks pretty good, smells very interesting. I did note that there's not much salt around the ring of crust here for the salted pretzel crust. Uh, that's okay, I guess, but I hope it doesn't take away from the pretzel action. All right, guys, I'm going to find out when I taste it, when I rate it, and i tell you more about it next on Pizza Night. 
Alright guys, I'm back. That's a really sloppy, interesting looking pizza. I hope it tastes good. You know, I'm usually a pretty traditional pizza guy. I like tomato sauce on my pizza or marinara. I like pepperoni on my pizza. But hey, a little bit of meat and a little bit of cheese, I think I can uh, make do with that. So let me open it up. Very white. It's almost like the uh, snow that we had last week, which as you can see earlier in the video, we don't have anymore, thankfully. Let me go ahead and pluck out that 420 slice one more time, show it to you next to my head. It's a large pizza, by the way, which I think is their 14 inch for the 9.99 special. Of course, I paid more. All right, let me go ahead, take a bite of this cheesy, meaty mess on pizza night. It's pretty good. Um, it's very salty. Uh, that's the first thing I'll say. I need to take another bite to get a full effect of the meat toppings, but I, th I think I like what's going on so far with this sauce combination. All right, well, um, I'm liking this a lot. I like this combination. I need to taste the back, back of the crust to give you the full 100% review, but so far the front of the pizza is pretty dynamic. Um, I like the way the garlic parmesan sauce blends with the um, mozzarella cheese. And I was actually wrong, I think, when I said it was on top before. It had just kind of seeped up through some of the gaps in the cheese, I believe. The sauce has um, good notes of garlic without being overwhelming. It doesn't smash you in the face and hit you in the head with the garlic. Uh, it does taste cheesy. Blending with that uh, mozzarella cheese makes it really, really good. The meat is on point. The meatballs are the dominant part there, and the ground beef kind of comes in and fills in some volume where the uh, meatballs don't have volume because they don't put a lot of the meatballs on there. So that's why I got the ground beef to sort of supplant or rather supplement the uh, meatballs and make it a really meat. Let me taste. bite the and back because this is the important part where they put the salted pretzel crust on the stuffed crust. I do not taste pretzel, guys. Uh, I didn't taste pretzel the first time I tried the pretzel one uh, with the regular pretzel crust. And I'm not tasting it now. I don't know if it's because the salt is absent. It's not giving me something to play off of. But let me try again. Mmm. A little bit. A little tiny bit as I chewed on it there. I tasted a little bit of pretzel flavor. You know, it's not like they're actually baking a pretzel crust. They're just brushing on flavors. So, you know, I can't really compare it to Little Caesars Pretzel Crust Pizza, which was the 2014 pizza of the year, by the way. But, um, yeah, I can't compare it to that at all. Because comparing it to that would just not be fair at all. Um, I do like the sort of butteriness uh, of that back crust, but it just doesn't taste like a pretzel to me. Uh, the, the cheese on the inside is kind of mushy, uh, not quite as strong as it normally is in the regular stuffed crust, and I don't know if that's because of the sauce that's on the pizza, the buttery thing that's on the back of the crust, or the combination of the two just kind of made it a completely much more moist product altogether. So yeah, all in all, I was really surprised by the front end of it, and I was disappointed by the back end of it. So. What could have been like a 7 8 thumbs up had they really gotten that pretzel crust right uh, has turned into more like, I can't give it three quarters because the pretzel crust is just not existent for me. I don't know. But yeah, it's not as bad as a 5 8 because this is a good pizza and I'd eat this pizza again, but I don't think I'd go for the pretzel crust. I'm really confused. You know, I'm not good at math and wow, it's better than 5 8 I'd say it's a two-thirds thumbs up pizza. How's that sound? Two thirds th thumbs up. I don't think that is congruent to five eighths. No. All right. So yeah, two thirds thumbs up on the Pizza Hut. New uh, flavor of stuffed crust pizza, this time with the uh, pretzel crust on the backside. Uh, thanks for watching Pizza Night, guys. As always, I appreciate all of your input in the comments down below. Speaking of down below, in the 
description section, you find a link to the SAS Facebook page. Hundreds of the coolest people in the whole damn world are in our group, and you should be too. So click on that link if you will. Also, follow me on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS. Also, Brandon Reich SAS on the Instagram. Hashtag Snack Society, no matter where you are in the social media world, hit that hashtag and you'll find out what's happening in the SAS in your neck of the woods. All right, guys, big things happening with the SAS. Stay tuned this weekend for an exciting edition of Quick Chips with Dip. And in the meantime, in between time, do the four horsemen of YouTube and like, subscribe, favorite, and share. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.